No, no, okay, I allow Quran. When you read in Quran? Yes, yes, reading Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, reading, reading, reading Quran. Yeah. How many people go to uh, heaven when you read? Is, is something like this when you read in Quran? Uh, and you end you reading, yes? Yes, and you yes. End Quran. Yeah. Uh, how many people go to heaven? No. I, I don't. I don't understand okay, the question. Okay. I don't, okay. Like people are not going to heaven because I'm reading the Quran. That, okay. that that. When you die, when you go. Yeah. Okay. If I die, if I die as a good Muslim, I prayed, I read the Quran, I gave charity to the poor people. I fasted during Ramadan, the month of Ramadan. Okay. So if I lived a good life, I'm answering. Yeah, I'm answering. So if I lived a good life, then we Muslims believe that there's heaven and hell. So okay. then I would go to heaven. Okay. Inshallah, God willing, I would. If he, God would, if God accepts me, then He will give me heaven. You have time when you don't uh, pray. Like of course, yeah, because yeah. you have tradition, yes? Yes. Tradition. Yes, yes. You, I must go. Then, 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 yes? In this hour, in this hour, in yes, this hour. Yes, yes, Why? yes. Why? I don't make go in 10, 12, go and pray? Yeah, 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 yeah. no, I can't. I have, have I want to have be freedom. Yes, 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 yes. When I have, uh, I know what is good, what is wrong. Yes, yes, yes. And in Quran you have, yes? Yes, 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 yes. I, I have, must have freedom, not somebody tell me when I must go. Okay, okay, okay. But when I want. And you go when you tell you. Okay, okay. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me explain a little bit, right? Okay, number one, it's not just somebody telling me, it's my creator, God. There's a difference. You're somebody, I'm somebody, she's somebody, he's somebody, he's somebody. But God is not just somebody. God is the one who created everybody. <laughs> so if God tells me, I'm happy to follow. Number one. Okay. Number two, I just want to, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just want to explain. You're right. I must pray. Prayer number one. I must pray. Number two. I must pray. Number three. I must pray. Number four. I must pray. Number five. But I can also, I can also pray here. Okay. I can also pray here. I can also pray here. Right now, I can pray right now. I can say, God, help me. God, uh, guide this very nice man to Islam. No problem. Okay. I can pray any time. I have freedom. Okay. What happening when you not pray in this? What happening when don't pray here? What happening when pray not here? What happening? You okay. go to hell? Uh, so let me let me answer that question. Let me answer that question with another question. I will answer. I, I promise. Okay. I promise I will answer. Just as an experiment, uh, choose a number between one and 114. Any number. Or between one and 100. Pick any number. Okay. Seven. Seven. If you open up chapter seven of the Quran, by the way, seven is a special number okay. in Islam and in Christianity. Okay. Seven heavens, seven days of the week. So okay. it's interesting you said seven. If you open up chapter seven of the Quran, you know the Quran is our okay. holy book, our scripture. It begins by saying, in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, the most merciful, the one who shows mercy, the one who forgives. So my point is, I'm answering your question now. My point is that in Islam, God has emphasized his mercy, his okay. compassion. He's not a, just a stern judge. He wants to send you to hell. He, he, he wants to help you. He wants to see you succeed. He wants to see you pass the test. So now I'll answer your question. If I miss this prayer, then I should say sorry to God. I should say I'm sorry and I can make up my prayer. I can make it up late and say I'm sorry. Sometimes it happens. We're human beings. We're not perfect. So um, we're not perfect. Sometimes you set the alarm on the clock for early morning. You don't wake up because you're so tired. You're just, the alarm went off. And I, oh, then when I wake up, oh, I, I miss my prayer. So God knows we're human beings. We're not angels. You and me, we're not perfect. We're not angels. God forgives. Okay. Uh, wanna, not next answer, you know. This man tell, you know, your man, te, uh, Muslim man, tell me Jesus is not God because go to toilet, yes? This is the argument from your uh, your uh, Muslim, yeah? She, they is not God because go, go to toilet. And you tell me uh, Moises is the good man, but uh, I hear kill somebody, yes? 
Okay, okay, continue, continue. So this is my question. Okay, okay, so there's a big difference. Uh, in the Quran, in the Quran, it, it, in the Quran, it, it doesn't present, in the Quran, it doesn't present Moses as someone who purposely murdered somebody. In, in the Quran, that doesn't happen. In the Bible, in the Bible, it it looks like it looks like Moses killed this man on purpose, intentionally, because in the Bible it says he looked this way and he looked that way before he killed the man. Like, he, and then he went. Yeah. So it looks like it's intentional. He killed him on purpose. That's murder. It's a big crime. Very bad. Very bad sin. And he, in the and, Quran. And, and he is Prague in your uh, Muslim, yes? Yeah, let me explain that in the Quran, it doesn't say, like, he looked this way, he looked that way. Just, he is in a fight. He gets into the fight, he punches the man, but he's so strong. Moses is so strong that when he punches him, this man dies. Immediately, Moses feels bad in the Quran. Immediately, he feels bad and he repents back to God. Bible is too. Okay, 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 okay. So, what I'm trying to say to you is that in Islam, Moses is a human being who made a mistake. He, just remember, one, he's a human being like you, like me, he's, right? And he made a mistake, he repented to God, no problem. Yeah, yeah, a prophet can make a mistake. But in Christianity, I, I didn't want to bring this example of the toilet because I, I want to try to be respectful, but you, you mentioned it. So in Christianity, it's different. It's God. It's not a human being. It's the perfect one who is the most holy, the most pure, the most high, the most perfect. That God, he's in the, he's in the men's toilets, right? That God. So we say this is a di two different things, two different things. One is a human being that makes a mistake. One is God in the washroom. Imagine if you and I lived during the time of Jesus, I love Jesus as a prophet of God. You love Jesus as God. You believe he's God. So imagine if you asked another Christian man during the time of Jesus, uh, where's God? I'm looking for God. Where is he? I want to talk to him. And then your Christian friend says, oh, God, God's in the washroom. He's in the toilet. It's very difficult, my friend. It's very difficult to accept this, my friend. It's very difficult to accept this. Okay. I know you love God, like I love God, I know. So I have a high opinion of God. You're saying God is there. I'm saying... No, not me, your friend. No, but you accept, you, you believe that Jesus, he must have gone to the washroom, right? Or no, he never, yeah, so... So it's, it's your problem, it's not our problem. In Islam, God didn't do this, you know. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for conversation. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. I appreciate bless it. You. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.